I'm a huge history buff, and I've only become a history buff because I binge watched this Netflix series. I think it was called um, The History of Us. I don't know, I binge watched Netflix, okay, but it was, I learned a lot. Um, and it was basically just, it kind of went through the history of the United States and kind of um, when it was settled and then kind of the progression of um, like the, the 1800s and then the, the 1900s until today. And so I was hearing about all these stories of people that helped build America. And I was like, you know what, like America is pretty young, but a lot of people have done some great things. And then I was like, what, like the, all these people are gone now though. Like a lot of, they're gone. And some of them like are only remembered because of this. And there are probably people that lived in that time that nobody remembers. And so I thought, okay, the life really is short. Like we're just like living a generation and in 40 years from the day I'm dead, people might not even remember me, you know, a hundred years from the day I'm dead, I, what, like, no one will remember what I did. Um, and so I thought what, so my action should be, I should be doing things that, um, are influential to the human race, you know, try and do things every day that are making impact in society. Um, because that's what's going to stand is those impacts that you make in society. You think of people that like, um, you know, built like the Empire State Building or some of these people that like their acts are remembered today. Um, the pioneers that came over and settled Utah and, and the West, their acts are remembered. So um, I guess kind of my, that's a really like deep thing to be saying, but as far as, so that kind of helps my goals. I'm like, okay, Everything I do, I try and be like, is this going to make an impact somehow in society? Um, and I try and do that. Um, I also have like little goals too. Like I want to kind of have my own talk show someday. I would love to kind of interview certain celebrities. I mean, I always have, I have these, I'd love to interview Chris Pratt. I'd love to interview Jimmy Fallon on a talk show. Um, so I have all these like little goals, but the overall umbrella goal of that is um, I want to make sure that everything I'm doing is making a positive impact in society. Thanks to Netflix and the History Channel, that's my view on life. <laughs> as far as a career goes, kind of like some short-term goals that I have for a career, is I want to continue to make videos. It's, I mean, I've kind of been riding this success and this fame for a little bit. I don't know when it's going to die out, so I'm kind of just like taking advantage of all the opportunities that I can right now. Um, I do have the goal to have my own um, late night talk show in that format. Um, I just, I think that I'd be able to shine really well in that. I have a lot of different talents. Um, I don't like excel in one area, but I, I can do a lot of things really well. I'm a jack of all trades. And so I think I just would love to, um, to have my own show and I'm kind of working towards that. and. Um, I mean, obviously I'd love to start a family. I think that's the first thing on my list and like, I really want to start, um, I want to get a family and, and work towards that. But, uh, I love setting goals and I think it's really important to set goals and set goals that you may think are little and insignificant. I think it's so important to set those and work towards them. Like I set that goal to, um, to make a video that to that new Justin Bieber song and I wanted him to see it. And I was like, it was, it's like a small insignificant goal, but I set that goal and I did it and, and it happened, you know? So I think setting goals is so important.